Hi guys, welcome to the week 12 wrap, a little bit late, I meant to get it out earlier in the week. Those of you who are waiting for this week's ASR lecture slides on cash flows, they went up earlier today, so uh, please print those out, you should have them ready for the lectures this week. Well, we've made it, well, almost made it, we're almost at the end of week 12, so that's 12 topics of accounting standards and regulations. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't enjoyed all of it, I hope you've at least enjoyed some of it. Um, we've had fun. It's been a lot of work, but, um, but we're not quite done. So what we're going to have is cash flow lectures this week. Peter will be taking most of those, um, or rather he'll be taking the Karingai ones and the Tute there, and he'll be doing the Thursday morning one in the city. Pete has other commitments on Thursday night, so I'll be doing the Thursday night cash flow class, uh, cash flow lecture. For those, um, yeah, so that's this week. Now, next week we're going to have a review class. Um, so what I'm going to do is come along to the lecture, talk about the exam a bit, and field questions. So if you want me to work through some problems, that's an opportunity to do, to do that. I expect that the classes won't take more than about an hour. Um, so if you're at Karingai next week, um, that's the first Wednesday of June, I will be starting at 10 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock. So it will mean it will take me a lot less time to get there through traffic. Yay! The cash flow tutorials will run next week as per usual. Now, what I said about next week's class, it's going to be a brief review. So I'm going to talk about the exam and field some questions. We are going to continue the usual drop-ins next week. So they'll be running this week in the city in the usual locations. 1 to 2. Uh, they're both in Haymarket, Building 5. So 1 to 2 p.m. on Thursday in C244 and 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. just before the lecture in... just before the evening lecture in D114. Um, I have also scheduled additional drop-ins prior to the exam. Remember, those standard drop-ins will run this week and they will run next week during the review week. So the last of those regular drop-ins will be on the 6th of June. I have also scheduled additional pre-exam drop-ins the next day, the 7th of June, and they are going to be a little bit longer. They're both in Haymarket, Building 5. There's going to be one from 1pm to 3pm, and that's in room C129 and another one from 4pm to 6pm, again in Haymarket Building 5, room D219. Now, in other news, don't forget that the student feedback surveys are open, so go to www.sfs.uts.edu.au. Um, I'm not sure if they're still offering prizes and stuff, but you know we really do appreciate your feedback. A lot of the changes we've made to the subject have been as a result of your feedback. So we do value that. This isn't just lip service. We really want this subject to be uh, serving your needs and we want it to be an attractive subject. We don't mind criticism so long as it's constructive. Remember, Pete can't change the fact he's from New Zealand, so yeah, that might not be a good idea to mention that. Now, I notice that on UTS Online, questions are heating up. Please, if you have substantive questions about the subject matter, UTS Online is the place to ask those. Email should just be restricted to admin matters. Also, if you're going to ask a technical question, please have a look at the screencasts folder under course documents. There are screencasts there that cover most of the practical topics that we cover. And I've just put up two additional ones that Pete did, one on convertible notes and another one on cash flows. So, you know, there are walkthroughs there for a lot of the practical questions that we do. Last issue, I've just put up today a bunch of previous exams in course documents. So now there are a whole bunch of past exams up there. I think there are, there are four or so. So you should get a feeling for the way we set questions, the range of questions that we set. And, you know, if, you, if you're the sort of person that believes that looking at past exams is useful, and you look at all of those and you understand all of those topics, you'll find that those topics cover most of what is examinable in this exam. So if you look at those things, you will have studied the subject. But of course, I strongly recommend that you don't just rely on the past exams. There might be stuff that we ask that isn't there. There is stuff out of left field quite regularly. 
Okay, so I will see you back in week 14 after Peter's stint this week. Thursday night, people, I'll see you sooner. <laughs> Sorry, in the um, written up rap, it says, Boo ha ha ha, evil cackle. That was my best attempt. Yeah, pathetic. Okay, see you guys in class. Bye.